Okay, this is the chassis for my 1950 RCA TV here on my very crowded bench. I've been working on it for quite a while now, probably over the past month or two, probably 10 hours, 15 hours. As you can see, uh, a lot of the capacitors here have been changed out. I've uh, also replaced uh, electrolytics. It has the can type that mount on the chassis, and I've mounted these uh, these ones underneath. I had to uh, do one small thing, which didn't want to do, but just didn't see any other way to do it with these caps, and that was to mount these uh, terminal strips here on the front of the cabinet or of the chassis I've got these controls that stick out these pots give me a good two inches of uh, space to work in and I've installed these capacitors on the mounting screws for this uh, transformer here that's on the other side of the chassis so I didn't have to drill any holes in it and I've got two more caps to mount probably tomorrow and I'll try to turn the chassis over it's a bit tricky here but get a look at the top of it um, Try to bring it in here. This is the tuner over here. It's um, copper, although it's pretty heavily oxidized. Power transformer, rectifier, can capacitor. There's three of them here. There's one here, two over here none of which will be active in the high voltage cage here I've uh, replaced a couple of caps and I've got a couple more which you can see there the 0.047's to change out this is the high voltage terminal for the CRT interesting thing uh, about the tubes here most of them have been changed out this set probably has a lot of um, hours on it which probably isn't a good thing but <laughs> anything this old probably does have a lot of hours on it um, I was looking at the tubes and the date on uh, like for example this one 1960 and there's another one here in 1961 so this TV probably here you go 61 26 set probably went into the repair shop in the early 60s and got worked on and uh, the next thing I know about its history is in 1985 the guy I got the TV from uh, picked up the set and it sat in his garage for 23 years and then I got it through uh, Craigslist it was free he was giving it away he uh, was gonna get it fixed but wasn't uh, technically inclined so uh, that's pretty much it it's been at this for a while another thing I did but uh, I didn't go all the way through with it. It was an area of the chassis here. I used uh, some of that um, what's basically phosphoric acid to try and uh, clean off the chassis. But I realized that doing that has probably done away with whatever zinc, maybe there was a zinc bath, a protective coating that the steel chassis would have been dipped in when it was manufactured to prevent rust and I don't see much but there were some tiny little areas so I might consider um, I don't know sealing this off I mean it is kind of grimy but that's as clean as I've gotten it with uh, towels and 
like 409 type cleaner so I don't know don't know what I'm gonna do there about the chassis be interested in uh, anyone's comments and don't have a whole lot else to, to throw in here about this so um, I guess I'll leave it at that thanks for watching